Ticketing at Temple defended the Aspera Authority has clarified the details of its controversial profit-sharing deal with Soka Hotels, a company owned by hotel tycoon Sok Kong that has the ticket-selling rights to Seam Reap's Temple complex. A letter released on Tuesday in response to questions over the Temple complex's management and Ticket sales says that Soka Hotels is contracted only to provide ticket revenue, collection, services. It states that revenue from each ticket sold is divided into 20% VAT. 15% goes towards conservation and development of the temple complex. 15% goes to Soka Hotels and the remaining 50% to the government. Aspara Authority does not hire out the temples to Soka Hotel, in fact. The authority only hired the company to provide ticket revenue collection services on our behalf, a common action that public administrations or governments in other countries have also implemented. The letter dated November 25 reads, The company, Soka Hotels, pays the revenue from ticket sales directly to the National Treasury and the Ministry of Economy and Finance and does not go through the Aspera Authority, the letter states. The letter comes after opposition lawmakers questioned Tourism Minister Thong Khon last week over the lack of transparency surrounding ticket sales to the Angkor Archaeological Park and the amount shared with Cambodia's national budget. The Aspera Authority, which oversees business operations at Cambodia's biggest tourism draw, handed over the ticket sales responsibilities to Soga Hotels in 1999. Soka Hotels is a subsidiary of Sakong's Sakimix Group. Revenue collection over the past years has been improved to achieve efficient outcomes, the letter. Reasons Seam Reap welcomed some 1.7 million foreign tourists over the first nine months of this year, up 10.6% compared with the same period last year. The Aspera Authority reported gross revenue from ticket sales for 2014 reached $47 million at the end of October. Ticket sales totaled $57.6 million in 2013 and $51 million in 2012. As a condition of the agreement, Soka Hotels is also reportedly obliged to invest more than $700,000 in local infrastructure projects every year. Yampon Harith, an opposition Cambodia National Rescue Party parliamentarian and the National Assembly's chairman of the Education, Religious, Culture and Tourism Committee last week called on the government to give the Ministry of Tourism control over the temple complex's ticket sales and revenue. Contacted yesterday, Pon Harith said he welcomed the letter from the Aspara Authority but that full transparency means detailing the monetary figures and to what part of the budget they were allocated. I have seen the letter, but, in fact, we just see to the total revenue. They don't show the detail of the revenue sharing, he said. We need to know how much goes to the government and how much goes to the company. As we know the government spends a lot of money to attract tourists, the tourism minister yesterday. said he had no plans to take control of the Seam Reap Temple complex. We still want to spare authority handle it because they have done a lot of work to manage and preserve the temple, Cohn said. The Aspera Authority has been cooperating with many other international institutions. Like the ICC, the International Coordinating Committee for the Safeguarding and Development of the Historic site of Angkor. If the money from ticket sales is not properly managed, other international institutions will blame us, he added.